Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit while recording audio in Reaper. Now the purpose of this is if you want to edit while you're still recording. If you're recording long passages, like a full song, and you want to edit it, put things on different tracks, or if you're doing a podcast or a radio show that's very long, you could do some editing on the fly. And with this method, it's not going to create any gaps in the recording, as you'll see. So the way to do this is to create a custom action. So let's go to the action menu right here, show action list. And let's go down here to custom actions and create a new one. I'm going to name it record to next file, which is basically what's going to happen. We're going to stop recording and save that file and start recording to another one without stopping recording. So let's go to our filter and type in record colon. And right over here, we see a few different options. The first one we want is start new files during recording, which is basically going to start a new file while we're recording. But we also want to save the previous recording. So we'll do that right over here and add the recording media back into the project so we can edit it. So we'll do this after the first action. So now we'll save this. Give it a keyboard shortcut right over here. Choose any keystroke you prefer. I'm going to use Control B because I'm not using that for anything. So let's try it out with some music. I have a vocal track here with the singer in the vocal booth. And by using this custom action, we can edit each phrase while she's still recording. We could trim the audio, change the timing, move it around, drag it to a new track even add effects on the fly. So let's give it a shot. Going to record. Hit that custom action. It creates a new file. And we can edit this one, change the fade. We can trim it. Let's do another one. And we can drag each one down here to create a new track while it's still recording. Hit that keystroke again and it creates a new one so we can layer that part. Get up, get up, get Hit that action again, and we can drag this down to create new tracks and layer that part as much as we want. Get up, and we can drag them to readjust their timing. Get up, get up, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. Get up, get up. We can trim the left side, We can split the items or delete. We can add fades, add effects to each item. We can add an EQ just to this piece of audio. And this whole time, we're still recording, as we can see right over here. Now, as I mentioned, this will also work for recording podcasts, radio performances, anything where you're recording long pieces, and you want to keep on recording while editing the audio from earlier. Let me show you. Let's create a new track over here, set it up for the mic I'm using. Put it in record, see our level, and we could start recording right now. And as I'm recording, let's say I wanted to save along the way, but I didn't want to stop. I want to keep going and keep recording. So all I have to do at any point is hit that custom action, and it creates a new file and still records. And we could do anything we want with this file. We could split it, maybe delete it. Trim it, change the timing. Or 
but we're still recording, as you can see. And like I said earlier, this process is gap free. So you don't have to worry about spaces while people are talking. It's still gonna record. There's not gonna be any gaps or spaces. Let's go to the preferences and go over here on the media item defaults and turn off automatically creating fade in and fade outs. And I'll give you an example of how it doesn't create gaps. I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four. And while I'm counting, I'm going to create separate files. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if we hear it back, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can see there's no gaps in the recording. It's perfect. For editing long passages, like podcasts or radio shows, where you want to do some editing earlier on while still keeping the recording going. So that's pretty much it. That's how to edit while recording audio in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.